Remote desktop computing between Windows and Linux computers is quite easy, although on the Linux side it needs a little bit more to be done before a Linux system can act as a remote host. So let's start. I'm using CentOS 7 Linux, my favorite Linux distro, and we need to install XRDP. Consult the help files and documentation of your preferred Linux distro to see how to install XRDP. So let's start. I have already installed Apple repositories because I need them for quite a lot of things and uh, the XRDP is in Apple repositories. So first I need to go to root and then simply launch the installation and the Yum installer picks it from Apple repositories and installs in my system. It takes a little bit of time, but not too long. We need to install XRDP, start the service, set the service to start after every boot, and create firewall exceptions uh, so that the Linux host can accept the connections from a Windows client. It's done, so now let's start the service. and make it to start automatically every time CentOS is booted. There. Now the firewall exception. We make it permanent. And at the port 3389. And of course, TCP. Linux listens the port 3389 for incoming Windows de remote desktop connections. And just to be sure. Let's uh, reload the firewall. That's it. Now we can close the terminal. And I'm an old school geek. For me, making some quite essential changes in the system, I want to reboot. It's not necessary, it's something that I do because I'm used to do it, so I'll be back when CentOS has rebooted.
Okay, my Linux has rebooted. Let's log in. And let's try if we can make a remote test connection to our Linux from Windows. I just minimize that one and we open Windows remote desktop connection. I happen to know that this is the IP address of my Linux machine, so I simply I check that I have the full screen and connect. The certificate warning can be skipped. Just accept it if you don't want to see it in the future. Tick, don't ask me again for connections to this computer. There we go. Linux over re remote desktop connection. Okay, and now the other way around. Connection from a Linux client to a Windows host. Let's open the Linux virtual machine and we need terminal to create the connection. I use the program called X-Free RDP for remote connections from Linux client to a Windows host. Once again, consult the help files and documentation of your preferred Linux distro to see how to get X-Free RDP. It needs two switches. First one is for graphics. G. Let's take a small resolution only now to show how it works and switch U for username, I give my Windows remote host username. Thereafter, I can give either a com the computer name or IP address. Just like when using a Windows client. That's it. That's all you have to remember. X3 RDP hyphen G and resolution hyphen U and your username and the IP or the name of the Windows host. It asks for your password. And again, the certificate warning. This is kind of catch 22. If you want to create a connection, you have to accept this. So the only possible answer is Y for yes. And there the connection will be created in this 800 times 600 resolution I selected. I'm now using my Windows desktop computer over remote connection from a Linux client. So that was it. We have now made connections from Windows to Linux and from Linux to Windows. That's basically everything there is to see. Please feel free.
to come with your questions and concerns and post in the tutorial thread. Thank you for watching.